What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to another video. We have been absolutely blasting, but we're going to start doing Nightmare Dungeons now. So I kind of wanted to go over how it works, how are all the you know changes to it, and how everything goes down. So let's go ahead and showcase one for you right now, okay? So you're going to find sigils once you get to World Tier 3. You're going to find these on World Bosses. You're going to find them on Dungeon Bosses. Um, you can find them in Tree of Whisper Turn-Ins. Uh, and once you get them... This is kind of how it works, and then we're going to showcase one for you entirely. So you have a bunch of sigils here. You can see that it says "World." it's Tier 1, so that tells you the level of the dungeon that you're going to turn it into a Nightmare Dungeon. And then you have the affixes, okay? So it says transform this dungeon into a Nightmare Dungeon, so it tells you which water in Hawazar is the one that it's going to be. It's going to tell you the 12, or how many revives you're allowed, which is 12. Revives allowed means this is how many times you and your teammates can die before you're kicked out of the dungeon and you lose the sigil forever. So we have 12. The higher level that you go, the less of these that you have. I think Rob showcased when he was a world tier uh, 100, he had four revives, that's it. Now we have the dungeon affixes, okay? You have, these are gonna be uh, conditions that are put on the dungeon. So for example, this one says poisonous evade. Using evade leaves a poison of, uh, a pool of poison behind that damages enemies. This one is for us as the players. Next, you have Death Impulse. Killing a monster releases a deadly lightning pulse after a short delay. This is also for the players. The third one is Monster Poison Damage. Monsters deal additional 22% of their damage dealt as, a po as poison over five seconds. This is for the monsters. Each of these have different effects that benefit you guys as players and team members, as well as the monsters or the dungeon. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get, kinda look at these affixes real quick out of the ones that I have, and we're gonna pick one, and we're gonna go do it. So this one is actually pretty good for 20% more gold. Elites always have electric lance, and they have shadow damage. Uh, this one is battle hardened, so we gain uh, life. This one is fire damage. Reduces cooldowns on kill, that's very cool. Um, poisonous evade, increased critical strike chance. Ooh, I like this one. And then killing a monster responds to blood bl blister. Okay, Lightning Caller. So let's do this one. So we're gonna change the Feral's Den and Sklaz Glen uh, to a Nightmare Dungeon. It's gonna give us increased critical strike. Okay, this is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna right click on it. Oh, I don't have the den. I don't have it. Okay, so let's try, let's try this one then, Nudging Evade. Okay, so Nudging Evade consumes a sigil to activate the Nightmare Dungeon at Shifta Runes. Let's go ahead and accept. Now it triggers to all my party members that we're gonna change the dungeon. And this is at Shift of Runes in Kangistan, Kenjistan. So they just all have to accept that. Okay, then we're gonna go to the map and then it's gonna show us where our dungeon is that changed right here. So you're gonna see it on the map guys, just in case if you guys get lost or don't know where it is, you can look it up ahead of time. But down here, it's going to showcase, it's going to blink. So you guys will see it blinking. And then it also, I know they have the pin there, but it's going to have the little red um, number on there. Could you remove the pin, guys? Just remove your pin real quick. Uh, but you're going to see the little red mark on the dungeon, um, which is different from other dungeons that you guys can see. See how the other dungeons associated next to it do not have it. You guys can see the little red mark on there. It uh, kind of looks like devil horns or a devil tooth. It's different than the other dungeons, so that way it also will tell you that, hey, this is a nightmare dungeon. So all you have to do now is just travel there. So let's go travel there, then we're gonna start the dungeon. You guys can see exactly how it works and the rewards and also how to level up your glyphs at the end. Okay, so once you guys get to your dungeon, you just go ahead and go on in. It acts just as any normal dungeon, but you're gonna have those additional conditions. Okay, so now you're gonna see over here on the right-hand side that we have conditions inside the dungeon just like normal so we got to return the bloodstones to the pestle two of them and then we have our number of revives so let's go ahead and knock this out team show you guys how this works once we get to the end and you guys can see how to uh upgrade your sigils which is really cool now keep in mind that my team is much faster than i am they're playing the three fastest characters in the game sword barbarian and uh rogue so i'm gonna do my absolute best and we're gonna go crit city now just like most dungeons you're gonna see like the monsters they're level 54 so they are going to be higher because we are in a nightmare dungeon 
it also shows you the tier that we're doing, which was one. So yeah, we are just going to be trying to complete these normally as fast as possible. You, you, you think of these like your um, your greater rifts inside of Diablo three. Think of these as your speed farming ones. You're just going to be wanting to like just go through and complete these efficiently and do these as fast as possible. Um, just like normal dungeon like grinding, you like trying to complete the objective or kill the elites, and that is it. Um, uh oh. So, trying to carry the I keep getting hit sweet I love it I love how any little hit completely interrupts anything I'm doing <laughs> I'm not ready, nice way to go let's get it okay so that's one item we got to go back and take it now now remember uh, the guys over the blizzard said we don't have to do backtracking they said that I'm not ready. holy crap Let's go ahead and get everybody stunned. All right, we are crushing. I must wait a moment. I'm trying to keep up. We got 61. We probably won't even need them all for the boss because we're gonna kill them pretty quick. But we got an elite here. Oh, that's a champion. Just crit city like it's nothing. I must wait a moment. I must wait a moment. I love the serpent. Let's go. Critting for 17,000. Let's go. Super good. All right. So far, we don't have to backtrack. This is nice. This is good. Way to go, Blizzard. Thank you for heating our... Cause lethal shrine, love it. All right, so we're still looking for one other item. Racking up tapstone map marker ch channeling. Okay, so that's where we got to go for that. Wait a moment. Just gonna stun them all and just destroy everything. We're at 105. 109. We're going to use these on the boss. You guys are going to see how awesome this is. Whoop. Let's not die. We are we are a tanky druid. Nice. A lot of good items, man. A lot of good items. All right, so now we're just missing one. Where's the last one? There it is. He's got it. Awesome. Uh, no capstones. You can do. You can do capstones as a team. We did it as a team. I must wait a moment. All right, our rogue is super fast. Can't you guys tell? All right, now it's boss time. Look how fast the rogue is. This is just natural movement speed. It's so bad. Ooh, demon got a unique. Let's go, demon. I need to get that that affix that when I use um, earth and bulwark, my speed increases. Yeah, bar, bar, yeah. All right, seething hive master. Oh, look at the crits. Look at the crits. And she'll be dead before. Not ready yet. Just dead. A glyph outmatched. So we get a glyph and then an, another sigil. We got Doom Armor of Cyclone Force. And then another legendary look like. Or no, just another item, which is really cool. So inside here, guys, at the end of the dungeon when you kill the boss, you get your rewards. A lot of the times you're going to get a, possibly a glyph. But most of the time you're going to get another... Uh, sigil, which is great, so then that way you can just keep doing nightmare dungeons and kind of chain them together. Um, now, a lot of the times it's not going to be the same sigil that you already had, but in some cases it can be, or it can be a brand new one. Now, the most important part, just like you would do your old legendary gems from Diablo 3, at the end of a uh, nightmare dungeon, what you would do is 
come to this Awakened Glyph Stone. You just clip, click on it, and then you're going to be able to pick any glyph that you want. Now, how this works is you're going to be adding EXP to the glyph to level it up. So, available um, EXP to al allocate is four because we're at a level one glyph. So, I already have... Uh, I've already leveled up this um, glyph one time from the previous dungeon. So, now I'm going to upgrade it, and now it's going to be a level two uh, glyph instead of a level one. You see that? And then you can see the differences. So now for every five decks, now that percentage is higher. However, the bonus does not change. So the extra 10% from the additional does not change as you guys can see here. So the, the additional bonus doesn't change, but your normal bonus will change, which is very important depending on whatever build that you're doing. So guys, that is how Nightmare Dungeons work in Diablo 4. It's fairly simple, fairly simple process, but for those who do not know, that's how everything kind of breaks down super fun definitely get out there and chain these these also give a very very strong uh exp bonus so definitely encourage you to do that um and also one other thing is that a lot of times with the glyphs too you can get them to be uh stronger than the ones that you already got so we can take a look at the new one i got i don't think i got a level two but you can definitely get some that are higher level but that is how nightmare dungeons works guys i hope this really does help out like the video if you guys enjoyed it comment down below what you guys think about nightmare dungeons and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace